morning good morning good afternoon or good evening whatever the case may be when i get this video loaded carrying around a food dish um anywho today is monday so that means what is going on in the greenhouse so let me turn the camera around and let's go in and see i got seven irises planted along this side i need to get me some more newspaper or feed sacks besides the flat rocks as you can see the chickens have dug in there so let's go on into the greenhouse uh the tomato is doing great in there and i do i don't remember which one oh box box car i think that's that one um but uh let me show you all the things that are going on um the parsley has finally decided to make it. Um, the other day, I went somewhere. I don't remember where I went. Um, and I forgot to move these flats and open up all the windows in the greenhouse. Because it to me, it wasn't that warm. And I only got in the 70s. But... Um, with it being in the 70s, it was probably about 90 in here. Uh, anyway, I lost some of my sunflowers. Um, at least these right there. And I lost a few other plants on the other side. I need to get some of these planted. Anywho, and these are lilac or chocolate peppers. Uh, Nata Pino, sweet banana pepper. Uh, the brandy wines, um, top hat pepper, only one of them survived. So let me go get, put this one down. Second flat, we got a habanero, plobleno. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We do have a plobleno. Yay! Finally. Um, the plain parsley, the, we have one colas, no sage. We got catnip coming up, no cumin, and this is all okra. In which I need to get it in the ground as well. Um, lemon balm, the mandarin, and then we got over here, um, nastrums. Uh, I forgot what that one is. Forgot what that is. Oh, salva, and then my tomato plants, which this one I think I lost it uh, due to the heat in here. Uh, so let me put these two flats down and we'll go to the other one. This is the last flat. And yes, I know I need to get these in the ground. Some of these, uh, the sunflowers and the squash, zup zup the squash zucchini rapapini, uh, in the watermelon. I really don't know why I'm going to plant that at. Uh, we got snapdragons, the nasturums that I was really excited about coming up. Uh, one spot and here's where another heat spot got to it so I am going to do an experiment today and I'm going to bring you along and see how it works I emptied my last bag of soil into the next tub and I heard you could do this um, but I'm not for sure so got some tomatoes and these are not store-bought tomatoes these are tomatoes from um the, a local produce stand so i'm going to put one there and one over here and let's go ahead and put this one over there do four of them because there is a few seeds there and then we just need to cover them up Hold on, let me get my other tool. Just to see if we could grow tomatoes from tomatoes. <laughs> um, so that's my little experiment. I'm going to water these in. We'll see how that goes. Um, I may just go ahead and put one of the other tomatoes in here that I got growing over there. I think I will. Hold on a second. So I put the tomato in here that the heat got to. Um, 
and I'm putting the other tomato Rutgers in here as well. That might be too many, but I don't know if these other tomato slices are going to come up. And I do need to water them now. Water it around. So now I've got to need to wait until the, the rest of the tubs get them filled up as well. So that is it for today for what is growing on in the greenhouse um, and the excess heat that is in here. Let's see. Let me back up. See what the temp is in here. And all the windows are open minus one. Um, sorry about that. Let me turn it around. Is a thermometer. It is about 70 in here. Uh, I still got all these tubs to fill up. Um, and I also need to get more tubs because I think I want them all the way down to the end. And maybe over here on this side as well. Um, well, I know for sure I am going to leave the table in here uh, just because. Uh, so that's it for today. So see y'all later and have a very blessed day.